After years of waiting, we have finally arrived at yet another Olympic cycle, with the 2024 Games taking place in Paris, France later this season. Moving into this massive international competition, we have seemingly countless showdowns to look forward to. There's Noah Lyles and Christian Coleman set to clash in the men's 100 meters. There's the inevitable showdown between Athing Mo and Keely Hodgkinson in the women's 800. And then there is the historic race set to take place between Elliot Kipchoge and Kelvin Kiptum in the men's marathon. However, there is another event that has been exponentially rising with excitement, and that event is the men's 1500 meters. In the 2021 Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, Jakob Ingebrigtsen shocked the world with his Olympic win at just 20 years of age, and in the process, he broke the Olympic record in under 3 minutes and 29 seconds to take his first gold medal on the international scene. With this win, Jakob left this year with a huge amount of international confidence. However, the road to 1500 meter glory has been paved with huge ups and downs, because despite breaking his own European record a total of three times since 2020, and winning various Diamond League races with huge meeting records, he has still yet to win another world title in the 1500. In the 2022 World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, Jake Whiteman from Great Britain surprised Ingebrigtsen with a super fast close, winning this race by just a few tenths over Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And then in 2023, another British athlete and teammate, Josh Kerr, managed to take down Ingebrigtsen once again, with an almost identical racing strategy to Jake Whiteman. This double consecutive silver medal placement for Jakob undoubtedly left him disappointed. And even though Josh Kerr has gone on record, literally trash-talking Jakob as of recent, this video is actually not about Josh Kerr, and it's not even about Jake Whiteman. It's about a brand new name that has gone on record stating that he genuinely believes that he can take down Jakob in the 2024 Olympic Finals. And you know what's crazy? He actually might be right. If we go back to the 2023 Bislett Games in Oslo, Norway, we can see Jakob Ingebrigtsen breaking 3 minutes and 28 seconds for the very first time, setting a new European record once again with a super impressive performance. With a very quick pace throughout the entire race, and then an unbeatable surge over the final 200 meters, Ingebrigtsen took down a world-class field that included the likes of Mo Katir, Yard Nagus, and Timothy Chariot, the 2019 world champion. However, what was a rather unexpected development in this race took place all the way back in 8th, as the Norwegian runner Narve Nuros finished with a time of 3 minutes 29.47 seconds. This performance now makes Nuros the second fastest Norwegian runner in the country's history, and in a small coincidence, this actually ties him with Jakob Ingebrigtsen at number 10 all-time on the Norway's top 1500 list at exactly 329.47. This was a massive personal record by Nuros, and even though he did finish quite the distance behind Jakob, what he managed to do following this performance in the World Championships was far and away the biggest moment of his career so far. Over the final 200 meters in the World Championship Finals, I think we all remember the battle between Josh Kerr and Ingebrigtsen, as Kerr famously pushed past his Norwegian rival, winning the gold medal in glorious fashion with his incredible final close. But what many have failed to realize is that Nuros almost caught Jakob over this final stretch, only falling three one-hundredths behind Jakob for third place. This was a huge push forward, and it was the very first time that Nuros had made it to the podium in a global championship. And just like Josh Kerr and like Jake Whiteman, Nuros now has a brand new sense of confidence that even the likes of Jakob Ingebrigtsen can't shake. In a recent interview, he said, Then there will be the Olympics in Paris. Jakob Ingebrigtsen can easily beat me in all races before that. As long as I manage to beat him in Paris, that is the most important thing. I never thought in my life that a World Championship bronze would be possible for me, not until after that race at the Bislett Games in June this season. Now I think anything is possible. Now I can take gold at the Olympics next year. I really don't see any limitations. This statement came as a pretty big shock to a lot of people, because before 2023, Nudos really wasn't anywhere near Jakob. But now, his sights and his intentions are clear. Look to the Olympic Finals and make the biggest impact that he can. And even against every other talent on the planet, a gold medal could be possible. 
What's really interesting about Nudos is that the 2023 World Championships displayed some insane capabilities in the 15, especially over the final 400. Here are the splits of the top five finishers from last year's 1500 finals. Of course, up front there's Josh Kerr, in second there's Jakob Ingebrigtsen, however in third is Narvin Nudos, with the single fastest lap of the entire field, with a blistering finish in 52.61. Now, if you're not familiar with the final 400 meters, it's fairly common to get under 54, and it's even fairly common to get close to 53, but to run a 52.61 is some next-level speed, especially considering the pace that they had already run for the opening three laps. With one lap to go, Nuros was in the back half of the pack, still biding his time to make his move, and what's crazy about this is that with 200 meters left to run, he was still all the way back in eighth. However, over the final half lap, he shifted gears better than anyone else in this race, with a final half lap close of 26.1 seconds. This was pretty crazy to see in real time, but with the battle raging up front between Kerr and Ingebrigtsen, many didn't realize what was happening in the back half. But it was really the final 100 meters that gave Nudos this incredible edge, because once again, this final 100 was faster than anyone else in the field, as he closed this final 100 with a crazy fast split of 12.85 seconds, which, incredibly, was more than a full second faster than Ingebrigtsen's final 100, and it was also the only split that went under 13 for the final 100. Now, looking outside of this single race, Nudos' 2023 was simply amazing, because he did snatch a medal from this year's World Finals, but he also managed to set six separate personal records in six separate disciplines, which included the 1500 outdoors, the 15 indoors, the outdoor mile, the 2000 meters, the 5000 meters, and in a significant turn of events, he also set a new national record in the 5k on the roads, which took down Ingebrigtsen's previous 5k record that was set all the way back in 2020. Many of you might recognize this race, and that's because Jakob ran this race during the pandemic. This was actually the first race race that took place in months, and in a very interesting development that I just realized, Nudos was also in this 5k, as he finished in 5th place in 13 minutes and 45 seconds. If Jakob didn't already have enough to worry about moving into the Olympics with Jake Whiteman and Josh Kerr from Great Britain, he now has to deal with the inevitable talent that is Narvin Nudos, and given his amazing rise to stardom and his new unwavering confidence, it's not out of the question to say that Nudos has a real shot at a medal, and if he can simply position himself slightly better than he did in 2023 and close the final lap with the same ferocity, who knows, a gold medal actually might be doable. Now, one final perspective that I'll leave you all with comes from one single post on the Let's Run forums, talking about Nudos' new position in the 1500, and I think this post encapsulates perfectly what could happen in 2023. It says, We have our new villain. Kerr and Jakob will be preoccupied with each other after all the smack talk. Narve is coming to strike. The out-of-competition psychology of racing certainly plays a big factor in big competitions, and certain athletes have abilities to get inside others' heads. And at this point, I really do feel that that's what Josh Kerr has been doing as of late, making bold predictions, trying to get into Jakob's head. However, for Narvin Nudos, his position as a bronze medalist makes him much less of a real threat, but a threat he still is. So come the Olympic Finals in Paris, do keep your eyes on not just one Norwegian talent, but a new one, and his name is Narvin Nudos. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.